All right, in this quick video, I want to give you guys an overview of some tips and tricks to using Alex effectively for our class. I've got a sample uh, student account open. I just went ahead and just made a default student account, and I want to get, show you a couple things. There's a few things we're going to discuss. We're going to talk about how to find your assignments in case you don't see them down here. Um, or just so you know, they, most time, anything you haven't done yet that has an upcoming due date will be down here on the bottom left. Also, we'll talk about what, what does it mean if you can't click an assignment, and we'll talk about how to find your results and strategies for doing your quiz and test corrections. We'll talk about a quiz retake, or I'm sorry, a quick retake strategy for assignments, and we'll talk about knowledge checks. So first, let's say finding assignments. Most time, they'll be down here at the bottom left, but if you don't find them here, there is a way to find all assignments you've ever had assigned to you, including past, current, and future. If you come up here to the top left where you see these triple lines, and you click those triple lines, and then you click assignments, from here you'll see a list of all of your current, future, and past assignments. Notice it goes all the way back, so chapter one, chapter two. Now, this is a default student account, and I didn't do all the assignments, that's why you see scores of zero. Um, and you see how it says assessment was not taken. All right, so this is how you'd find all of your assignments. Things that are blue, you can click. Things that are gray, you cannot click. And you see how the mouse changes? That tells you you cannot click it. So that's finding your assignments. If you ever can't find it, that's where it's at. Now, if you can't click an assignment and you should be available and you notice that the due date, as long as the due date has not passed and you feel like you should be able to do it, usually it's because you're locked into something else. You're locked into another assignment. So let me go back to my home screen. Typically, if you're inside of your knowledge pathway, which you can get to by continuing my path or working on something else, or if you're inside an assignment and you don't submit that assignment, but let's say I got this far and I wanted to stop and come back to it later, and I want to hit save for later, all right? If you have some blank questions, it'll ask you to confirm. Okay. Now, f usually when you're still inside of an assignment and you haven't actually submitted it, it won't let you click any other assignments down here. Now, I think in the stu default student account, I think it might be because this pathway is filled up a lot more. But typically, you can only do one assignment at a time. So be mindful. If you're locked out of an assignment, it's probably because you're currently inside of another one. So go into that other one and hit submit. All right, so that's um, can't click on an assignment. Now, speaking of hitting submit sooner than maybe you wanted to, is let's talk about quick retake strategies. When you go to your assignment list, assignments, it'll tell you whether you have a, what kind of retake is available. And you notice all these say quick retake. For the most part, we'll use quick retake. And that means when you redo a question, you only have to redo the ones you got wrong the first time or the previous attempt, the only ones you got wrong. So actually, I take that back. It's just all together. So you can do it in multiple attempts. So if you know you have eight questions wrong, you can log on, do two of them. You can hit submit. Now, if they're correct and you go back to do a quick retake again, you'll only have six remaining questions to do. So that's a quick retake strategy. So sometimes you might want to hit submit on a, submit on an assignment but don't forget to come back and improve on it. Because if you submit it with only one or two questions done, don't be surprised if there's a 10% showing. So that's your quick retake strategy. Sometimes you, for example, when I open up more homework assignments to give you guys time to improve them before a quiz or a test, that might be a time where you might be doing back and forth between more than one assignment. So you may want to purposely hit submit on one of them to work on another one and come back to it. So that's a little bit of a quick retake strategy. Now, one of the uh, biggest concerns I have from students who's trying to do their test and quiz corrections is they tell me, I don't know how to find my results of how I did. So that's what I'm going to show you now. Check this out. If you scroll down on old assignments, if it's an assignment you did not do, you'll notice the percentage is gray. All of these, you can't click the name. Because students are telling me, oh, I've tried clicking the name. It's not working. I don't understand that. However, look at the actual percentage. If you did the assignment, it'll be blue and see how the mouse is changing. You can actually click this assignment and it'll tell you question by question how you did. So let's say this was a quiz down here and you want to know how you did. If you click the percentage, notice it's bringing up a detailed report. It now will tell you question by question what was right, what was wrong. Green is right, yellow is partially wrong, and did I have any completely wrong? I did. Red is completely wrong. So when you're doing tests and quiz corrections, I want for you to do, redo and rework and show, draw any pictures. Like for example, you need to draw this picture, show your calculations, and then explain in words how, why you got it wrong and how you fixed it. But I want you to do that for every question you got wrong or partially wrong. So bear that in mind. Now, if you're having trouble on still how to figure out how to do this question, Alex has this button down here called explanation. They have this for every assignment, not just reviews. They have it for quizzes and tests. This explanation is how to do your exact question. It's not, it's not a similar example. It's your exact question. So I just want you to know that's how you can find out how to do yours. 
However, when doing your corrections, make sure it's your own thinking. Make sure you're not just miming and writing what you see because that's not true learning. Make sure when you do those explanations, they're in your words. What specific step messed you up and how did you fix that? So be, be mindful of that. All right, the last thing I will say is this. I'm going to go back to the home screen by clicking this back arrow. Or I can go back to the assignment list here. And that will take us back to the assignment screen. So this assignment screen is your friend. Anything that's blue, you can click. And anything that's gray, you cannot. But just know, click the percentages to see your question by question how you did. All right, so going back to the home screen, I want to show you one more thing. Knowledge checks. When you get a knowledge check pop up, or if you're not sure what your next knowledge check is, if you can come, if you come click this little head right here, it's like, oh, look, it says brain, it's a check mark. If you click it, it'll tell you. For my student account I have made right now, it says the next knowledge check will take place after I do this homework assignment. So be mindful that Alex will give you periodically a knowledge check to check on how you're doing. It's based on your knowledge pathway. It's not just based on your assignments. It's based on all the topics you've been working on recently. So if you're still in the first pie slice, that's what the knowledge check will be based on. And so then take the knowledge check seriously. Make them an individual effort because that's your way of leveling up and confirming mastery in new topics. It will also remind you of old topics. So it's super important that you don't always wait till the absolute deadline to do your homework because what if there was a knowledge check due for you and you got to do that knowledge check first. I don't want you to be tempted to, to just kind of skip through it and click I don't know or Christmas tree it because then you're going to get a really low score on it and it's going to lower your knowledge, your pie pathway. It's going to lower your progress. So I don't want you guys to make yourselves go backwards. So make sure you take those knowledge checks seriously. But if you want to get a heads up of when your next one is, just click this little head and that's how you'll know. All right, hope this video has given you guys some tips and some ideas on how to effectively use Alex. I look forward to working with everyone, and I'm glad that we are learning a new system. Let's just, it's like all things, it's going to take some time, but we can do this. See you in class.